How to describe a bar chart for IELTS Academic Writing Task 1. Let's do this. Hi there, my name is Ben Wellington. In this video, we're going to look at, in a very detailed fashion, we're going to look at how to write a high scoring IELTS Academic Task 1 answer. Okay, we're going to look at it from a very different viewpoint. We're going to look at it from a viewpoint of making the examiner happy, satisfying what's in the band requirements, and hopefully scoring high, passing the exam, and saying goodbye to IELTS. So it's a slightly different video. I'm going to go into more detail, but first of all, um, I'm going to tell you the sentences that I recommend you start to master so you can incorporate them into your writing, okay? These sentences are the superlative, master this, okay? Master it, dominate it, learn the rules, write out a million sentences, get it checked, okay? The superlative, it's essential to dominate not to learn it, to dominate that sentence structure, that grammatical point. The next one, learn how to make comparisons. Learn how to say whereas, while, okay, for those sections. The next part is um, learn how to group the data. That's not too bad, just look for similarities. It's not really a language skill, that's another story. Next one, learn how to use the sentence respectively so we can make a mini list, all right? The next point, um, learn how to describe the data in an advanced fashion, okay? This means like, um, let's see, um, I don't know, pollution increased, um, let's see, pollution increased tenfold or pollution practically doubled over the five-year period, okay? Practically doubled, it's quite an uh, an emphatic way of saying it, or it's quite a descriptive way. We, instead of just going, production jumped from, or pollution jumped from 20 to 40. If I say practically doubled, shows the examiner that I am a master of IELTS <laughs> academic task one. <laughs> All right, let's carry on. So uh, the other sentences that we need to know is also how to just make a mini list as well. Okay, I'm not big. I'm not a big fan of making lists in this part of the exam but making a list help you um, describe the data and make it go a little bit smoother okay so in the video we're going to look at all of those points in much more detail and trust me do the tutorial do follow it all the way through the end okay even if you want make a description yourself of the bar chat we're going to look at yeah, like I've said a million and one times before, you cannot learn to ride a bike in a classroom. Take action, write it down, grab a pen, start studying, and pass out. IELTS. Simple as. Okay, let's go. Have a look at this graph. Okay, and remember that the process. We've already got two sentences accounted for. And we've got to find eight sentences, more or less, over which we're going to, uh, in which we're going to use those structures that we talked about a few minutes ago. Now, first of all, we're going to try and choose a way to organize the data. Now, the most logical thing would be to do a whole paragraph about this. A whole paragraph about this and a whole paragraph about this group that's okay and it's chronologically organized there is at least some organization there however we're going to miss an opportunity to make some comparisons okay so what I would do is make a small compromise and maybe um, just choose these two groups to talk about first okay and we've got a good comparison there and then use that all the way not all the way through but at least for the first for the first one and for the, probably the second one so let's just have a quick look 
Now, I did the first sentence, which is just a description. It's not the story. It's, it's a plain description of what there is there. Okay. Uh, and as well, you can see different life periods in the, the title. I used at three distinct age groups. Okay. Just to avoid using the same words and the same vocabulary as in the title because we can't get any points if we do that now then so immediately i go for clarity and i'm starting with subject dairy for the 20 for the 0 to 24 age group is the highest source of calories and as i said before we've got the superlative there and we're going subject verb object okay um dairy straight in there two feet straight in bang okay superlative done the other categories each represented about 20 percent each now you can see before that i wanted to group my data so this is a perfect group it's roughly similar and i can just bunch it together okay because what happens what the usual tendency is to group that data uh, well not to group that data but to list it which is horrible and go through meat represented 20 percent pulses represented 18 percent vegetables represented 20 percent and that's just boring now the other part okay and then um i am going through it chronologically okay but i'm not going through it in a listing listed fashion once again i followed um, actually, no, I've used the, the um, started with dairy again, but I've used the fancy sentence, fancy sentence saying it fell to rough to around a quarter, which is roughly the case there. Okay, and meat became the main source of calories. Okay, another way to show, like, um, it's not a superlative, but it's showing you the main, that's the most popular one. Okay, so I'm going for the key points in the data here. Okay, and here I do make a list afterwards. Okay, but just because I want to use the respectively sentence, the famous respectively sentences. Okay, and once again, I start with pulses. Um, I don't start with pulses, but I start with the most popular. Okay, I start with the largest and this is the way it's kind of organized although i have gone like this i haven't done a list from here to here from here to here i've always started with the most significant okay and also you'll see there is the comparison there okay which i managed to squeeze in and let's see and also they've got the, there's another fancy sentence here okay increased sixfold okay and once again you can see i'm starting with the subject I'm starting with the subject verb object okay bang 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 and it's clear it's crystal clear that okay um and then where is it now okay finishing off um here i just added this sentence because i when i did the word count afterwards i was about 130 words so i added this the over 50 group shows the most marked preference out of all the groups and also confirms the gradual decline in vegetable consumption as males become older. Okay, so what I'm saying is I'm, I'm showing the examiner that I have realized that the over 50 group is the, the extreme, is the largest out of all of them. And it also confirms this general mini trend within the data of vegetables slowly decreasing okay and then now i have the overall sentence the famous one overall it is clear that each age group has a clear favorite perhaps now if i'm just looking at it again i would delete that because it says clear twice which isn't good okay as a market i've already used and see overall it is obvious maybe um anyway i'll change that another time it varies depending on age okay and i haven't what 
usually happens. I haven't said 0 to 24 meat, 25 to 49 dairy. I haven't repeated what I've already said here. I've just said there's a clear favourite. And I've also said vegetables are consistently amongst the least popular regardless of age. Okay. And that's also true. Not, not only are they declining, but they are usually amongst, not the least, but amongst the least popular here. They're amongst the, the bottom two here. They're in the bottom two. And here is the lowest. So just mini data points that you can include. Let's just see. So, yep, I described it in an advanced fashion. Talking about the sixfold, I used the respectively. I did it in the normal fashion as well. Just making a little list here. And slightly less than dairy, 15. Um, I've done the exceptions and the pattern. Okay, vegetables, there was the exception. And there's also a mini pattern. But the main pattern was they have a clear favourite. Okay, grouping the data points here. We did that straight away and superlative all the way through the highest um sure i've got the lowest as well somewhere okay consistent the least similar so yeah all the way through 156 words but the, the main point here main lesson is selecting the information 